Finally, reinforcement learning. So in our Atari slider game, when we ask the thing to optimize its score velocity, we're giving it a little bit of reinforcement, some reward or punishment signal, but what are we actually asking it to learn? What are the labels that we are getting as output? Score. If it's trying to output the score, why not just set the score to infinity and call it done? It's not trying to output the score. It's trying to output the movement. But it's not just working with one movement. It's dealing with whole sequences of movements. The thing that really separates it from supervised learning is that there isn't immediate feedback for every individual move. When we move our little paddle left, for that move, we don't get immediate feedback. We don't know if that move is the one that's going to be responsible for us dropping off the screen later. There's some element of delayed feedback and you're dealing with whole sequences of stuff and you need to go to reinforcement learning and that is, I'm sorry to say, harder than supervised learning. So you can diagnose your task. If you're dealing with sequences of actions, there's some notion of reward or punishment, there's some notion of score, there's delayed feedback so you don't get an immediate signal for the total goodness of every little movement and the system influences its environment and input. So there's that last bit. The actions that the system takes also influences the data that it will be seeing coming in. So if you have all these, you have reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning today is hard. You are going to have to be buddies with the researchers. And if you read research blogs, they'll tell you the gory truth of what's actually involved here, which is a lot of failure. And they will, uh, there's, a, there's a blog I love uh, by, by a Googler on this topic where he describes just, it's best to just think of this as a demon that hates you. <laughs> and, then, and then you'll feel better about it. It's beautiful when it works, most of the time it doesn't. So we'll focus on supervised learning for the rest of this uh, course, but now at least you know how to diagnose whether you have this one. Just very researchy today. Okay, so if you cannot even imagine what sort of decisions or labels you want, please stop. Machine learning is not for you, not yet. Maybe you want some other area in data science, like data mining, descriptive analytics. Actually, let's talk about what is data science even. 